Voila! My brand new story mobile! everyone, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play. I'm Kristen and we're back with another amazing Richard Scary game from the busy world of Richard Scary. This is Richard Scary's best reading program ever. I hope you enjoy. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, remember, I cannot speak, but I'm not going to cut this out because I make mistakes and that's okay. None of us are perfect. If you remember playing this game, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Or if you're a fellow Richard Scary fan as well, I'd love, I'd love to know. And of course, subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Check out the playlist in the description box for other Richard Scary games. I have a Twitter and Instagram you can follow, a streaming channel, and a Discord server with the kindest community on the internet. They are such lovely people. Shout out to the Beehive family. If you use Discord, come join, say hi. We'd love to have you. All right, let's begin. Enjoy. Hello, Huckle. Hello, Loli. What do you think of my shiny new story mobile? Pretty nifty, huh? I built it to hold stories about Busy Town. Do you have any Apple stories? Can we see the books, Mr. Fix It? Of course. Hey, it's empty. Oh, no. I must have forgotten the stories. I am a born writer. Maybe I can write the stories for you. In fact, I... Whoa, whoa! Come back here, Hat! Looks like Mr. Frumble can't help us right now. But who will write all the stories for the Storymobile? I'm sure if we drive around Busy Town, we'll find people to write some stories. That way, the Storymobile will be full of stories in no time. That's a great idea! Hop aboard, kids! Wow! Isn't this neat? All it needs is some good stories! Don't worry, we'll find some great ones in Busy Town. We can even write some ourselves with the story writer. The shelves will be filled in no time. I can't wait to start reading. I'm a regular bookworm, you know. We can go to the farm and ask Farmer Soybean to write us one. Or we could go on a camping trip with Hilda. She'll write us a story. Then there's the beach, the market, and the school. We're sure to get stories if we go all those places. Then afterwards, we can read them by selecting a book from the shelf. And we can always stay right here and write our own stories. There's so much to do. Let's go. Let's hit the road and start gathering up those stories. You can write your own story here. Type the words you want. There are two ways to choose pictures for your story. Click the arrows or 
Use the Busy Town button to get a picture about that place. Don't forget to print your story by clicking the printer button. Use the Silly Arrow button to write a silly story. Here is a silly story you can help write. Use the arrows to choose another story. Click the words and pictures to fill in the blanks. Click the read button to hear your story read aloud. Don't forget to... Anchor. Anchor. Apples. Backpack. Yogurt Lamb Ice Cream Camera Book Are you sure you want to leave? Bye for now. Your story will be here when you get back. Let's go to Farmer Soybean's farm. What a great day! When will that hat ever come down? Farmer Soybean, we're collecting stories to put in the Storymobile. Would you write one for us, please? I'd like to write some stories, but I have a lot of work to do around the farm. I have to put the hay into the barn. Pick the apples in the orchard and do the farm chores. But if you help me around the farm, I'd be pleased and proud to write stories for the Storymobile. We'd be delighted to help. You've got a deal. Duck. Hose. Rooster. Chicken. Wagon. Well. Scarecrow. Farmer. Tractor. Hey. Windmill. Cow. If 
the two words rhyme, click yes. If they do not rhyme, click no. Then we can put all the hay into the barn and help Farmer Soybean. Horse, bell, horse, bell. You're right, they do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Hen, cat. You're right, they do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Pig, pig, dog. You're right, they do not rhyme. Only five more bales of hay left. Do these words rhyme? Hen, pen. You're right, they do rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Chick, cat. You're right, they do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Hat, hat, cat. You're right, they do rhyme. Only four more bales of hay left. Do these words rhyme? Cat, bell. You're right, they do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? B. B. Tree. You're right, they do rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Pig. Wig. You're right, they do rhyme. Only three more bales of hay left. Do these words rhyme? House, house, mouse. You're right, they do rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Pig, frog. You're right, they do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Log, frog. You're right, they do rhyme. Only two more bales of hay left. Do these words rhyme? Corn. Dog. Corn. You're right, they do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Hat. Hat. Duck. You're right, they do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Corn, truck. Truck, corn. You're right, they do not rhyme. Only one more bale of hay left. Do these words rhyme? House.
Horse. House. Horse. You're right. They do not rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Float. Goat. Float. Goat. You're right. They do rhyme. Do these words rhyme? Dog. Log. You're right. They do rhyme. We did it. We put all the hay into the barn. We can see if Farmer Soybean is finished with a story now. Or, there's always more hay to put into the barn. Do these words rhyme? Are you sure you want to stop? Good work, Huckle and Lowly. You finished and so have I. I just put my first story in the story mobile. Thanks, Farmer Soybean. I can't wait to read it. Here are three pictures of work that has to be done on the farm. Our job is to figure out which one happens first, second, and last. Click on a picture, then click on the spot in the story where you think it goes. Then click OK. The truck is all soaked up. The truck is dry and clean. Here comes the rinse. Nope. Not correct. The truck is all soaped up. Here comes the rinse. The truck is dry and clean. Hooray for you! Let's do another. Now there are five to go. Uh, the eggs hatch. A hen sits on the eggs. The eggs hatch. The chicks run. Good work. Do another. Four more. We plant the seeds. The plants grow. The corn is ripe and ready to eat. Nice job. <laughs> Let's do another. Three left. Stuff the clothes with hay. Let's make a scarecrow. Let's make a scarecrow. Stuff the clothes with hay. The scarecrow is in the field. Way to go! Let's do another. Only two left. <laughs> Fill up the pan with sliced apples. Bake the pie. Time to eat. Yum! That's great! Let's do another. 
Only one more to go. We take the milk to the house. We milk the cow. We drink the milk. There's something wrong here. We milk the cow. We take the milk to the house. We drink the milk. Excellent! Hooray for us! We put all the pictures in the right order. Farmer Soybean may need our help with something else. We could go see, or... There's plenty more to do around here. Are you sure you want to... Great job, Huckle and Lowly. You finished and so have I. My second story is in the Storymobile. Thanks a lot. I hope it's about apples. Each apple on this tree has a letter on it. If we find the ones that match... P. You got it! C. That's right! T. Hooray for you! R. Good work! Let's pick another basket of apples. Three left. E. Nice job! Way to go! That's great! Z. Excellent! Let's pick another basket of apples. Only two left. N. Terrific! T. You got it! L. That's right! G. Hooray for you! Let's pick another basket of apples. Only one more to go. Z. Good work! B. Nice job! Way to go! V. That's great! We did it! We filled all the baskets with apples! Maybe Farmer Soybean is finished with a story. We can go see. Or we can pick more apples. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Good work, Huckle and Lowly. You finished and so have I. I just put the third story in the Storymobile. Thanks, Farmer Soybean. That wasn't very hard at all. Do you think we can still find some more stories? Right this way. Our busy farm. We have such a busy farm, each day there's much to do. The morning starts with rooster's call, cock-a-doodle-doo. <coughs> On my tractor I plow the field, turn up plants rows of seeds. The seeds grow into vegetables, what everybody needs.
I cut the hay and bundle the bales, then haul them to the barn. Up into the loft they go, where they stay dry and warm. In the orchard, I spend some time picking apples from the trees. Turnip takes care of the beehives, where honey is made by bees. We load up the truck with our produce and drive it to the store. We sell the fruits and vegetables, then go home and grow more. We load up the truck. Planting corn. Farmer's soybean is up and dressed early in the morn. He sips a cup of tea and says, It's time to plant some corn. First, he plows the field in nice, neat rows like these. Then, with his planter, he sows a lot of seeds. Soybean brings a sprinkler. It sprinkles to and fro. This gives the seeds some water. Water helps them grow. With farmer soybeans' care and the sun's warm rays, the small plants start to grow in just a few days. Soybean's corn grows tall. It's really growing fast. Silk tassels peek out from the leaves. The ears appear at last. When the corn silk starts to brown and the ears are ripe and thick, soybeans hard at work again. The corn must all be picked. Soybean drives the corn picker from sun up until dark, until the ears of corn he picks fill up his cart. Grocer Dog sells the corn at his market down the street. People come from miles around to buy some corn to eat. Soybean looks at his cornfield. He says, it's time to eat. He picks some corn and cooks it. Mmm, my corn is sweet. The Missing Eggs Mr. Farmer Pig wakes up early. Mrs. Farmer Pig is already up. Mr. Farmer Pig stretches and yawns. He goes to the hen house to get some eggs. Mr. Farmer Pig looks inside the hen house. There are no eggs to be found. Mr. Farmer Pig looks outside the hen house. There are no eggs there either. Oh no, says Mr. Farmer Pig. The eggs are missing. <laughs> Mr. Farmer Pig walks to the barn. He looks in the front of the barn, and he looks in the back. But there are no eggs. Mr. Farmer Pig searches the cornfield. He looks to the left. He looks to the right. 
no eggs. Are the eggs in the orchard? wonders Mr. Farmer Pig. He looks up. He looks down. But all he sees are apples. Poor Mr. Farmer Pig. Mr. Farmer Pig scratches his head. I give up, he says. There are no eggs on my farm today. Mr. Farmer Pig walks to the house. Good smells are coming from Mrs. Farmer Pig's kitchen. Good morning, says Mrs. Farmer Pig. Here are your eggs. Lucky Mr. Farmer Pig. He finds the missing eggs after all. Cooked just the way he likes them. <laughs> Camping we will go. What a great day! Pat, Pat, come back! I miss you! Well, hello, Huckle. Hello, Lily. What are you doing here in the woods? We're looking for interesting stories for the story mobile, Hilda. Would you please write us a story? I'd love to, but I've got lots of things to do around here. Like what? Catch fish for dinner. Go on a scavenger hunt. And find the missing marshmallows to roast on the campfire. We do all those things for you. Would you write some stories for the story mobile? Sure I would. Right on. Flowers. <laughs> Waterfall. Canoe. Three. Flashlight. Tent. Backpack. Sleeping bag. <laughs> Camera. Picnic basket. I think I put the marshmallows near the campfire. <laughs> Hamburger. Each fish in this lake has a letter on it. If we catch the ones that match, 
We can fill the buckets for Hilda. Q. You got it! E. E. That's right! P. P. Hooray for you! W. Good work! Let's fill another bucket with fish. Three left. G. G. Nice job! S. S. Way to go! V. V. That's great! J. J. Excellent! Let's fill another bucket with fish. Only two left. C. C. Terrific! O. O. You got it! E. E. That's, that's right! K. K. Hooray for you! Let's fill another bucket with fish. Only one more to go. B. B. Good work! M. M. Nice job! S. S. Way to go! A. A. That's great! Oh boy! We filled all the buckets with fish! Do you think Hilda is done with the story now? We can go see, or we can just keep, keep fishing. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Oh, Huckle, Lowly, thanks for your help. I just finished my first story. It's waiting for you in the story mobile. Thanks, Hilda. I can't wait to read it. Wow, a real campfire story. Hilda wants us to find all the things on the list. It must be around here somewhere. Find and click it. Quilt. Hooray for you! <coughs> Yogurt. Oops, try again. Lemons. That's great! <coughs> Yogurt. Way to go! <coughs> Plate. You got it! Let's do another scavenger hunt list. Three left. Pickles. Hooray for you! Ball. Terrific! Anchor. Nice job! Wig. Only two left.
xylophone. You got it! Ruler. That's right! Camera. Hooray for you! Clock. Good work! Let's do another scavenger hunt list. Only one more to go. Carrots. Nice job. Mouse. Way to go. Flag. That that's great. Flower. Excellent. All right. We found everything. Hilda should be finished with a story now. We could check. Or we could stay and look for even more things. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Help! I just finished my second story. I put it in the story mobile. Thanks, Hilda. Another one. I love stories. Let's look around the campsite for Hilda's missing marshmallows. Good thing we have a flashlight. If we find the things that start with the letter on the backpack, we'll find those marshmallows. Bat. Terrific. Book. Hooray for you. Box. That's great. Box. Begins with B. We found a marshmallow! Now there are five to go. Look, Loli. More things to put away. We're sure to find a marshmallow here. Cat. Way to go! Cat. You got it! Cat coat. Hooray for you! Coat begins with C. We found a marshmallow! Four more! Slowly, more things to put away. We're sure to find a marshmallow here. Peas. Terrific. Pie. Nice job. Pen. You got it. Pen. Begins with P. We found a marshmallow. Three left. Hen. That's right. Hen. Hamburg. Hooray for you. Pose. Good work. Pose begins with H. We found a marshmallow. Only two left. Look, Loli. 
More things to put away. We're sure to find a marshmallow here. Bananas. Nice job. Boat. Way to go! B. That's great! B. Begins with B. We found a marshmallow! Only one more to go. Look, Loli. More things to put away. We're sure to find a marshmallow here. Cow. Excellent. Cow. Begins with C. Cucumbers. Terrific! Cucumbers. Begins with C. Pale. Jug. Cupcake. Hooray for you! Cupcake. Begins with C. We finally did it! We found all the missing marshmallows! They'll be great to eat! Now let's go see if Hilda's done with the story! Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Oh, Huckle! Lowly! Thanks for your help! I just finished my third story! It's with the others in the Storymobile. Thanks, Hilda. Another campfire story. Do you think we can still find some more stories? Right this way. Pig will and pig won't. Pig will and pig won't are going camping with Hilda. Mother pig waves goodbye. Have fun, she says. I will, says pig will. I won't, says pig won't. At the campground, Hilda asks, Who will help me pitch this tent? I will, says Pig Will. I won't, says Pig Won't. Hilda and Pig Will pitch the tent. Next, Hilda asks, Who will help me fetch some water? I will, says Pig Will. I won't says Pig Won't. Hilda and Pig Will fetch the water. Now who is going to help me build a campfire, asks Hilda. I will, says Pig Will. Can you guess what Pig Won't says? Hilda and Pig Will build a campfire. Then Hilda roasts some marshmallows over the campfire. Who's going to help me eat these marshmallows, she asks. I will, cries Pig Will. I will, cries Pig Won't. Will you, Pig Won't, asks Hilda. Hmm, says Pig Won't. Maybe I should have said I will 
earlier when you needed me to help. I'm sorry. That's okay, says Hilda. Just please don't say I won't any more. I won't, says Pig won't. Camping out. Paco and Loli are going camping tonight. They decide to pitch a tent in Huckle's backyard. Father Cat is raking leaves in the yard. Can I give you boys a hand, he asks. Father Cat helps the boys put up the tent. Then he shows them how to build a campfire. Wow, says Huckle. You sure know a lot about camping, Dad. Father Cat says good night. Don't forget to put out the fire. Huckle and Lowly toast marshmallows over the campfire. Just then, they see a strange light. Huckle and Lowly jump up. What's that, they ask. Hi, Huckle. Hi, Lowly, someone calls. It's Kenny with his flashlight. Kenny sits down with the boys. He starts to tell a story. It's about a ghost. A ghost with a big claw. I have to go now, Kenny says. Good night. Huckle and Lowly put out the fire and get into bed. You're not scared, are you? Huckle asks Lowly. No, not me, answers Lowly. Suddenly, they hear a noise. Plink, plink. What was that? asks Huckle. Maybe it's a ghost, says Lowly. Huckle peeks outside. It's just the water from the pump. Then they hear, squeak, squeak. What was that? asks Huckle. Maybe it's a ghost, says Lowly. Huckle peeks outside again. It's not a ghost. It's just the clothesline pulley. Suddenly, Lowly cries, look. On the tent is a shadow of a big claw. It's the ghost, shouts Lowly. Run, yells Huckle. Huckle and Lowly run back to the house as fast as they can. In the morning, Huckle and Lowly wake up in Huckle's room. They tiptoe out of the house and back into the tent. Father Cat comes to wake them. You boys were brave to stay out all night, he says. The first time I went camping, I was so scared, says Father Cat. All night long, I saw the shadow of a big claw on the tent. In the morning, it turned out to be just the shadow of a rake. Boy, was I surprised. The Three Fishermen Huckle is so excited. Today is his first fishing trip ever. Come on, Dad. Come on, Lowly, yells Huckle. Mother Cat waves goodbye. Good luck, boys, she says. The three fishermen get into the boat. Father Cat starts the motor. Away they go. This is going to be the best fishing trip ever, says Father Cat. In just a little while, Father Cat stops the boat. Throw out the anchor, 
he tells Loli. Oops, the anchor isn't the only thing that goes into the water. Loli goes in, too. Are you all right? Huckle asks. Yes, says Loli, as he climbs back into the boat. Come on, says Father Cat. Let's catch some fish. All of a sudden, something pulls on Father Cat's line. I think it's a big one, he says. Father Cat has something on his line, all right, but it isn't a fish. It's an old bite. Father Cat casts his line again. Again, there is a pull on his line. It's not a fish, though. It's a tire. The three fishermen try again. Do they catch a fish? No. This time they catch an old mattress. We're catching everything but fish, says Huckle. You're right, Huckle, says Father Cat. We might as well go home. The three fishermen pull up to the dock. But when Father Cat steps out of the boat, splash, he falls into the water. Help! yells Father Cat. Something's got me! <coughs> Huckle and Lowly pull Father Cat out of the water. Look at that big fish! Huckle points. It's got Dad by the tail! At last, Father Cat gets the fish into the boat. I guess that makes up for all the fish we didn't catch, he says. It sure does, says Huckle. You know what, Dad? This has been the best fishing trip ever. <laughs> the beach what a great day what's a well-dressed pig to do without a hat hello sergeant murphy I'll bet you can write some great stories for the Busy Town Storymobile. That's if you're not too busy. Oh, but I am much too busy. I have to direct traffic in the parking lot, clean up the beach, and fly kites. What if we helped you? Then could you write some stories? Well then, yes, you bet I could. Shovel. Are you sure you want to? Oh, my lighthouse. Surfer. <laughs> Snorkel. <laughs> Sailboat. Starfish. Crab.
umbrella. Hat. Are you? Oh. Let's help park the cars in the right spaces. Just find and click the car that matches the sign. Then click the sign to put it in the parking place. That's great! Way to go! You got it! Hooray for you! Terrific! Nice job! We sure know our cars. We help park all of them. That was fun. Now let's see if Sergeant Murphy has finished writing a story. Or we can park some more cars. Are you sure you are? Huckle, Loli, you've been a great help. And I just finished a story. I put it in the story mobile. Thanks, Sergeant Murphy. It'll be a good one to read on the beach. <laughs> Look at those kites. If, if we match the picture on one kite with the word on another, I'll bet they'll go way up in the sky. Read each word, then Find the picture that goes with it and make those kites fly high. B. You got it. Hat. That that's right. Pig. Hooray for you. Towel. Good work! Let's fly some more kites!
plate. Nice job. Ball. Way to go. Cow. That's great. Nest. Excellent. Fly some more kites. Flower. Terrific. Fish. Hooray for you. Duck. That's great. Net. Way to go. Fly some more kites. Apples. You got it. Map. Hooray for you. Pale. Terrific. Frog. Nice job. We did it, Loli. We matched up all of the kites. All high flyers, too. Now let's go see if Sergeant Murphy has finished writing a story. Or we can fly some more kites. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Huckle, Loli, you've been so busy, and I just put my second story in the Storymobile. Thanks a lot, Sergeant Murphy. Another story. Pelican. <laughs> Ice cream cone. Boy, is the beach messy. Find and click all the things that have the same ending sound as the picture on the trash can. Then click on the trash can. And the beach will look great when we finish. Remember, we're listening for the ending sound, like hat and bat. They both end with t. Pig. You got it! Dog. That's right! Dog. G. Dog. Ends with G. Mop. Juice. Bag. Hooray for you! Bag. G. Bag. Ends with G. That can is full. Now there are five to go. Clam. Jam. Good work. Jam. M shell. Plum. Nice job. Plum. M Plum ends with m. Pear. 
tail. Ham. Way to go. Ham. M. Ham. Ends with m. That can is full. Four more. Wig. Jug. That's great. Jug. G. Jug. Ends with g. Bug. Excellent. Bug. Flag. Terrific. Flag. That can is full. Three left. Hat. Net. Hooray for you! Net bat. That's great! Be float. Mask. Ketchup. Hose. Float. Way to go! Float. T float. Ends with t That can is full. Only two left. Hen. Corn. You got it. Vase. Queen. Queen. Hooray for you! Queen. N. Queen. Ends with N. Can. Terrific! Can. N. Can. Ends with N. That can is full. Only one more to go. Bag. Pig. Nice job. Pig. Bug. You got it. Bug. G. Log. That's right. Log. G. Log ends with g. Wig. Hooray for you! Wig. G. Wig ends with g. Wow! The beach looks great! We cleaned it all up. I wonder if Sergeant Murphy has finished writing a story. We could go find him. Or we can keep picking things up off the beach. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Huckle, Loli, I just finished my third story. And I couldn't have done it without your help. It's waiting for you in the story mobile. Thanks, Sergeant Murphy. I can't wait to read this one. Do you think we can still find some more stories? Right. The treasure hunt. Huckle and Lowly are at the beach. What do you want to do, Huckle? Lowly asks. Let's look for treasure, suggests Huckle.
OK, says Lowly, but where? Huckle looks around the beach. He sees something on the sand. Look, Lowly, says Huckle. X marks the spot. <coughs> Huckle and Lowly start to dig. Suddenly, something goes clank. It sounds like silver, says Huckle. Huckle digs up the treasure. But it's only an old tin can. Huckle and Lowly dig some more. Suddenly, something goes clunk. It sounds like gold, says Huckle. Huckle digs it up. But it isn't gold. It's only an old wheel. Huckle and Lowly get tired of digging. They decide to walk along the beach and look for treasure. Huckle and Lowly find lots of things on the beach. An umbrella, a pail, and an old shirt. But they don't find any treasure. They pick up cans, bottles, and newspapers, too. But still no treasure. Huckle and Lowly stop at Bruno's snack stand. They show Bruno what they found on the beach. Maybe you didn't find any treasure, Bruno says, but I never saw the beach look so clean. Bruno gives an ice cream cone to Huckle and Lowly. That's for cleaning up the beach, he says. You boys did a great job. Wow! Thanks, Bruno, they say. I guess we found treasure today after all. Fun in the sun. The sun is high. The temperature's hot. The waves lap at the sand. Hilda's going to the beach with her beach bag in her hand. First, Hilda takes out sunscreen and spreads it everywhere. Then comes the chair and umbrella and a hat to cover her hair. Out comes a bucket and shovel to build sand castles today. But first, she drinks lots of water. Her body keeps cool that way. What else can Hilda have in that bag? Ah, sunglasses and a book. Everything a hippo could want, Hilda surely took. Because she packed her bag so well, she's really got it made. Sometimes the best kind of fun in the sun is really in the shade. Catch your hat, Mr. Frumble! It is a windy day at the beach. 
Mr. Frumble builds a sand castle by the shore. Whoops! The wind blows Mr. Frumble's hat away. Catch your hat, Mr. Frumble, calls Sally Cat as it blows by. <coughs> Mr. Frumble chases his hat down the beach. The hat blows out onto the water. Catch your hat, Mr. Frumble, calls Huckle, swimming by. Mr. Frumble chases his hat into the water. The hat blows onto a boat. Catch your hat, Mr. Frumble, yells Captain Willie as it sails by. Mr. Frumble chases his hat onto the boat. But now the hat blows on top of the lighthouse. Catch your hat, Mr. Frumble, calls the lighthouse keeper. Mr. Frumble chases his hat to the top of the lighthouse. He nearly gets it. All of a sudden, a puff of wind blows it back down the beach. Poor Mr. Frumble. Mr. Frumble's hat blows right through Bruno's snack stand. Look out, everyone! yells Bruno. Suddenly, the wind stops blowing. Mr. Frumble's hat lands on Hilda's beach chair. Uh-oh! everyone calls. Quick! Catch your hat, Mr. Frumble! Market. What a great day! I wish that hat didn't love to fly so much. Hi, Bruno. We're collecting stories from different people in Busy Town. To go into the brand new story mobile. Sounds like a great idea, but I have lots of work to keep me busy here in the market. I have to collect the bananas. I have to bag the groceries. And I have to restock the shelves. So if you want me to write stories, you need to help me around here. Okay. We'll do it. Cake. Oven. Baker. Broom. Milk. Cans. Scale. Pumpkin. restocking these shelves. Let's do it, but how? Click on the spot where each new grocery item belongs. Tomatoes, vegetables, 
apples, fruits. Way to go! Ham, meat and fish. You got it! Let's shelve another cart of groceries. Lot meat and fish. Hooray for you! Milk. Dairy. Terrific! Melon. Fruits. Nice job! Let's shelve another cart of groceries. Hot dog. Meat and fish. You got it! Lemons. Fruits. That's right! Cupcake. Baked goods. Hooray for you! Let's shelve another cart of groceries. Lamb chop. Meat and fish. Good work! Corn. Vegetables. Nice job! Pears. Fruits. Way to go! Let's shelve another cart of groceries. Lettuce. Vegetables. That's great! Butter. Butter. Dairy. Excellent! Bread. Baked goods. Terrific! Let's shelve another cart of groceries. Cake. Baked goods. Hooray for you! Cheese. Dairy. That's great! Olives. Vegetables. Way to go! We did it, Loli! What a great team! We restocked the whole store! Now we can see if Bruno is ready with a story. Or we can stop more shelves. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Great work, Huckle and Loli. I'm all done with my first story. It's waiting for you in the Storymobile. Thanks for all your help. Oh, boy! Thank you, Bruno. From the grocery shelf to the bookshelf. Our job is to collect 10 bananas. Find and click the item in the produce shelf that begins with the same sound as the item on the shopping cart. Then click the shopping cart. Loli begins with L. Like lettuce, Loli. P. You got... We got a banana. Now we need nine more. Bell. B. That's right! Bananas begins with B. We got a b 
banana. Eight more to go. Backpack. B. Hooray for you! Beans. Begins with B. We got a banana. Seven more now. Magnet. M. Good work. Melon. Begins with M. We got a banana. Only six more to go. Popcorn. P. Nice job. Peas. Begins with P. We got a banana. Now there are five to go. Camera. C. Way to go. Carrots. Begins with C. We got a banana. Four more. Lamb. L. That's great! Lemons. Begins with L. We got a banana. Three left. Puzzle. P. Excellent! Potatoes. Begins with P. We got a banana. Only two left. Goat. G. Terrific. Grapes. Begins with G. We got a banana. Only one more to go. Turtle. T. Hooray for you! Tomatoes. Begins with T. Well, we did it, Huckle. We got all the bananas. Oh, no. Looks like we're not finished yet. Or we can see if Bruno was finished writing a story. Oranges. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Perfect timing, Huckle and Lowly. I just put another story in the Storymobile. Thanks for all your help. Thank you, Bruno. I can't wait to read this one. Bruno wants us to help him fill up the bags with groceries. If these two things begin with the same sound, click yes. If they don't, click no. Pickles. Apples. Right, they do not start with the same sound. Do these have the same sound? Strawberries. Pears. Right, they do not start with the same sound. Do these have the same sound? Milk. Milk. Eggs. Right, 
They do not start with the same sound. Only five more bags to fill. Do these have the same sound? Soup. Cheese. Soup. Right. They do not start with the same sound. Do these have the same sound? Melon. Melon. Cucumbers. Right. They do not start with the same sound. Do these have the same sound? Do these have the same sound? Peaches. Pineapple. Right! They do start with the same sound. Only four more bags to fill. Do these have the same sound? Cake. Bread. Right. They do not start with the same sound. Do these have the same sound? Cucumbers. Tomatoes. Right! They do not start with the same sound. Do these have the same sound? Pineapple. Bananas. Right! They do not start with the same sound. Only three more bags to fill. Do these have the same sound? Peanut butter. Popcorn. Right! They do start with the same sound. Do these have the same sound? Carrots. Radishes. Right! They do not start with the same sound. Do these have the same sound? Ham. Hot dog. Right! They do start with the same sound. Only two more bags to fill. Do these have the same sound? Ham. Hot dog. Right! They do start with the same sound. Do these have the same sound? Butter. Bananas. Right! They do start with the same sound. Do these have the same sound? Corn. Tomatoes. Right! They do not start with the same sound. Only one more bag to fill! Do these have the same sound? Pickles. Tomatoes. Right! They do not start with the same sound. Do 
these have the same sound? Corn Fish Right! They do not start with the same sound. Do these have the same sound? Cake Peas Right! They do not start with the same sound. We filled up the whole shopping cart. We're good grocery packers, Loli. We sure are. Now we can go see if Bruno has written a story. Or we can bag more groceries. Do these have the same sound? Are you sure you want to stop? Huckle and Loli, I'm all done with my third story. I put it with the others in the story mobile. Thanks so much for your help. Oh, boy. Thank you, Bruno. That wasn't so hard. Do you think we can still find some more stories? Right this way. The best mistake ever. Mother Cat needs some things at the store. I can go to the store for you, says Huckle. All right, Huckle, says Mother Cat. Let me make you a shopping list. Mother Cat gives Huckle the list. These are the things I want you to buy, she says. Apples, butter, cream, potatoes. Don't worry, Mom, says Huckle. I'll get everything you need. When Huckle gets to the store, he reaches into his pocket for the list. Oh, no. It is gone. I hope I can remember everything Mom needs, says Huckle. Huckle starts to shop. First, he sees some apples. Did Mom want apples or apple pie? Huckle asks himself. Huckle picks apple pie. Next, Huckle finds the butter. Yes, he says, I think Mom wanted butter. But I think she wanted peanut butter. Huckle reaches for peanut butter. Huckle sees a sack of potatoes in the next aisle. Did Mom have potatoes on her list, he wonders. Then Huckle sees a bag of potato chips. I think these would be better, he says. What does Huckle see next? He sees cream. What does Huckle buy? Ice cream. Huckle pays for all of the food. Then he goes home and proudly shows Mother Cat all the things he bought. But Huckle, says Mother Cat, these are not the things I wanted. This is party food. <coughs> Just then, the doorbell rings. It's Auntie Olympia and Lily. Mother Cat is surprised. She forgot that she had invited them over. Mother Cat looks at all the party food on the table. Huckle, she says, it looks like you got just what we needed after all. Your mistake was the best mistake ever.
Bananas for Bananas. Bananas wakes up early in the morning. Boy, I'm hungry, he says. He looks for some bananas to eat. There are no bananas. What, he says, no bananas? Bananas looks for some money to buy bananas, but he can't find any. What, he says, no money? How will I get bananas? Bananas thinks hard. I know, he says at last. I'll get a job. <sighs> bananas goes to Scotty's gas station. He asks Scotty for a job. Okay, Bananas, says Scotty. You can paint this school bus. Bananas paints the school bus. Then he shows it to Scotty. Do you like it? asks Bananas. Oh, no, cries Scotty. That's not the way to paint a school bus. Scotty tells Bananas to find another job. Bananas still has no money, and he still doesn't have any bananas. So Bananas asks Mr. Stitches for a job. Okay, Bananas, says Mr. Stitches. You can trim these hedges for me. Bananas trims the hedges for Mr. Stitches. Do you like them, he asks. Oh, no, cries Mr. Stitches. Mr. Stitches tells Bananas to find another job. Bananas still doesn't have any money. He still doesn't have any bananas. And he is still hungry. Just then, Huckle and Lowly come by. Hi, Bananas, they say. What's wrong? I just lost two jobs, says Bananas. I'll never get money to buy bananas. You're in luck, say Huckle and Lowly. There's a ship in Busy Bay, and it's full of bananas. Whoa, says Bananas. I'm on my way. Bananas hurries over to Busy Bay. He asks Captain Anteater for a job. Okay, Bananas, says Captain Anteater. You can help in the kitchen. Bananas helps out in the kitchen. This time, he does a great job. He still has no money, but now he doesn't need any. He has all the bananas he wants. The Talking Bread Humperdink opens up the busy town bakery. Let's bake some bread, he says to Abel Baker Charlie. Can I help too, Daddy? asks Sophie. Sure, answers Humperdink. First, Humperdink and Sophie knead the dough. Squish, squash, squish, squash. Next, they shake the dough into loaves. Humperdink puts the loaves into the oven to bake. When they are done, he sets them out to cool. Mmm, says Sophie. They smell good. Just then, they hear a voice. Mama! Who said that? asked Humperdink. I think the bread said it, cried Sophie. <laughs> Mama! Everyone looks. It said it again, yells Charlie. That bread must be haunted. Humperdink calls Sergeant Murphy, who comes right away. 
Huckle and Loli come too. Sergeant Murphy picks up the loaf of bread. Mama, the bread says. Sergeant Murphy jumps. I'll get to the bottom of this, says Loli. He nibbles his way into the bread. Again, the bread says, Mama. I know what it is, says Loli. Break the bread open, please. Humperdink breaks open the bread. Inside is Sophie's talking doll. It fell into the dough and was baked inside the bread. After that, everyone sits down to eat the bread. Except for Loli, of course. He had already eaten plenty. Busy Town Schoolhouse, right ahead. What a great day! My hat must think it's a bird. Hello, Miss Honey. We were wondering if you could write us some stories. For the new story mobile. Stories for a story mobile? That sounds like a wonderful idea. But unfortunately, I have too much to do right now. I have to put the books away, fix the alphabet strip, and do a spelling lesson. If we helped you, could you write some stories? I'd be delighted. That's great! Puppet Theater. Window. Calendar. Chalkboard. Book. Flower. Piano. Computer. Magnet. Paints.
Let's put the ones that do not belong into that box. Clock. That's great. Clock doesn't belong on the A shelf. Milk. Way to go. Milk doesn't belong on the C shelf. Stick. You got it. Stick doesn't belong on the B shelf. Ruler. Hooray for you! Ruler doesn't belong on the T shelf. Bell. Terrific! Bell doesn't belong on the M shelf. Cookies. Nice job. Cookies doesn't belong on the S shelf. Yes, now we can go see if Miss Honey has finished the story. Or we can stay and put away more books. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Hello, Huckle and Lowly. I finished a story. I put it in the story mobile for you, and if you keep helping, I will keep writing. Thanks a lot, Miss Honey. I can't wait to read this one. Uh-oh! Some of the pictures have fallen down. Let's try to put each one back where it belongs. We have to match each picture with the alphabet letter it starts with. X. Xylophone. You got it! Apples. A. That's Ruler. R. Hooray for you! E. Egg. Good work! Egg. Ice cream. I. Nice job! Ice cream starts with I. Let's keep going. Fire. F. Way to go. B. Book. That's great. Book. Mop. M. Excellent! Mop starts with M. Zebra. Z. Terrific! Zebra starts with Z. Umbrella. U. Hooray for you! Umbrella starts with you. This is fun. Oranges. Oh. That's great. Oranges. Start. Carrots. C. 
way to go. Wagon. W. You got it. Wagon. Gate. G. Hooray for you. Gate. Law. L. Terrific. Log. Starts with L. Let's keep going. K. Kite. Nice job. Kite. Starts with K. Duck. D. You got it. Duck. Starts with D. Tent. T. That's right. Tent. Starts with T. Queen. Q. Hooray for you. Queen. Starts with Q. Yo. Y. Good work. Yogurt. Starts with Y. Let's finish the whole alphabet. Jug. J nice job. Jug. Starts with pears. P. Way to go. Pears. Starts with P. Vase. V. Vase. That's great. Vase starts with V. Sandals. S. Excellent. Sandals starts with S. Nest. N. Terrific. Nest starts with N. Hill. H. Hooray for you. Hill starts with H. The alphabet strip is all done. We sure know our letters, Loli. Could we see if Miss Honey is ready with a story? We could, or we could try to match some more letters and pictures. Are you sure you want to stop playing this game? Huckle and Lowly, thanks for your help. I wrote another story. It's waiting for you in the story mobile. Thanks, Miss Honey. This is fun. Oh, boy. Let's spell some words. All of these words have a missing letter. Let's fill in the blanks. A. O. 
P O T. That's great. Hen, H E N. Way to go. A. Hat, H A T. You got it. Let's spell some more words. Now there are five to go. Do you want to play? B. Box. B. X. Hooray! Cow. So. Terrific! Jam. J. A. M. Nice job! Let's spell some more words. Four more. P. Cup. C. U. P. You got. Bat. B. A. T. That's right. Bun. B. U. N. Hooray for you! Let's spell some more words. Three left. M. Map. M A P. Good work. B. Bag. B A G. Nice job. Can. C A N. Way to go. Let's spell some more words. Only two left. A B A G That's E P E N Excellent Pi P I E Terrific Let's spell some more words only one more to go. G. J. U. G. Hooray! T. N. E. T. P. Cap. C. A. P. Way to go! We did it, Loli! We sure did! We spelled all the words correctly! Do you think Miss Honey has had time to write a story? We can go check! Or we can spell some more words. Are you sure you want to spell? I finished, Huckle and Lowly. Thanks for all your help. I just put my third story in the story mobile. Another one, Miss Honey? We have a lot of stories now. Bill is filled. What should we read first? The best birthday party ever. 
Huckle's favorite day, his birthday, is only one week away. He decides to plan a party. Huckle makes a list of things to do. 1. Buy balloons. 2. Buy party favors. 3. Make a big cake. 4. Invite friends to come. This is going to be the best birthday party ever, Huckle says. On Monday, Willie Rabbit telephones Huckle. I'm sorry, Huckle, he says. I can't come to your party. I have to go to my grandmother's house. <coughs> On Tuesday, Billy Dog telephones Huckle. I'm sorry, Huckle, he says. I can't come to your party. I have to go to the doctor. On Wednesday, PJ Pig telephones Huckle. I'm sorry, Huckle, he says. I can't come to your party. I have to go to the dentist. On Thursday, Lowly telephones Huckle. Oh, Lowly, Huckle cries. No one can come to my party. This is going to be the worst birthday party ever. Don't be sad, Lowly says. You can come to my house for your birthday. We'll have fun. Just don't forget to bring the cake. On Friday, Huckle walks to Lowly's house. He goes inside. Surprise! Everyone shouts. Huckle is very surprised. All his friends are here. Happy birthday, Huckle, everyone says. Do you like your party? It's the best birthday party ever, says Huckle. Miss Honey's ABCs A. Abby Rabbit ate all the apples. Ah, oh, Abby. B. Bananas Gorilla has no bananas today. Boo hoo. F. Farmers. A. Abby Rabbit ate all the apples. Ah, oh, Abby. B. Bananas Gorilla has no bananas today. Boo hoo. C. Sally Cat counts the clouds. One, two, three. D. Billy Dog dares to dance. Get down, Billy. E. Danny Elephant eats eight eggs. Yes, exactly eight. F. Farmer Soybean grows flowers in his field. Sunflowers. G. Mr. Gronkle goes to the grocery store. Go, Mr. Gronkle, go. H. Hilda Hippo sits on Mr. Frumble's hat. Uh-oh, a flat hat. I. Irving Goat Ice skates in the winter. Isn't it nice on the ice? J. Janitor Joe cleans up in a jiffy. Just wonderful. K. 
okay. Kathy Kitten keeps her kites in the air. Way to go, kiddo! L. Spotty Leopard makes a left turn. So long, Spotty! M. Mr. Fixit made the Storymobile. Marvelous invention. N. Nurse Nora reads the newspaper. What's new, Nora? O. Oliver Octopus only eats olives. Oh, Oliver! P. Pig will puts pumpkins in a pile. Pig won't pouts. Q. Quentin Owl always asks questions. He is quite curious. R. Rudolf von Flugel roars by in his jet. He's really fast. S. Sergeant Murphy says, No speeding, bananas. Stop. T. Turnip tends the beehives. Mmm, terrific honey. U. Ursula Pig unfurls her umbrella. Stay dry, Ursula. V. Victor Bear visits his grandma. Very nice. W. Lowly Worm watches the huge waves. Wow! X. Xavier plays his xylophone. Excellent! Y. Ivan Yak collects yellow yarn. Yikes! Z. Zachary Zebra has zippers everywhere. Z. End. The best field trip ever. Miss Honey has to leave school for a few days. A substitute teacher is coming to take her place. His name is Mr. Tough. Here he comes now, says Lowly. Good morning, class, says Mr. Tough. Let's get to work. We have to get ready for our field trip. Mr. Tough even sounds tough, says Huckle. Mr. Tough gives the class books to read. Huckle reads about fossils. Kenny reads all about dinosaurs. Hilda reads about rocks. Read all you can, says Mr. Tough. You have to be prepared. Mr. Tough gives the class exercises to do. In the gym, Huckle does sit-ups. Hilda does push-ups. And the whole class plays tug-of-war. Get as strong as you can, says Mr. Tuff. You have to be prepared. <sighs> On the day of the field trip, Mr. Tuff gives everyone shovels. Then they get on the bus. When the bus stops, Mr. Tuff shouts, Okay, class, start digging. Everyone groans. More hard work. Suddenly, Hilda's shovel hits a rock. Clang! That's not a rock, says Mr. Tuff. It's a fossil of a dinosaur egg. Wow, says Huckle. Let's see what else we can find. Soon they find a dinosaur bone and some dinosaur teeth. All of a sudden, 
Mr. Tuff slips and falls. He slides down the mountain. We have to save him, yells Huckle. Huckle throws a rope to Mr. Tuff. The kids pretend it's tug of war. Heave ho! At last they pull him up. Thanks, class, says Mr. Tuff. That was hard work. It's a good thing we were prepared, everyone says. We thought this trip would be too much work, says Huckle. But it was worth it. This has been the best field trip ever. <laughs> Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Which area was your favorite? Did you have a favorite activity? I think mine was going to the grocery store. And which story did you like? My favorite was, I believe it's called The Best Mistake Ever, and it's based off the actual episode. I think a lot of these are based off the episodes, actually. It's been a while since I've seen them, but I remember um, when Huckle went grocery shopping for his mom and got all of the wrong ingredients, but he ended up needing them for the party. It was definitely one of my favorite episodes. Uh, so let me know uh, what your favorites were in this game. And of course, subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Don't forget the playlist in the description box to see all the other Richard Scary games on this channel. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone, and you're always welcome to come back and hang out anytime. Until the next video, God bless. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye, my friends. Are you sure you're...